What's up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Factorio episode number 6 I believe this is. And last episode we worked on setting up this iron right here to actually produce to our, our newfound bus over here that is just kind of starting to be set up. So I think probably what we should do this episode is kind of finish this line here. Or not finish it because we don't really need all the iron production quite yet. This will be fine for just, just about now. But we do want to kind of plan for the future for the area that we're going to want. So... I think the, the way we have this set up, we've got two belts, two full belts of iron, or two full bus lines of iron, which means eight full belts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then one of these is going to feed one belt. So we're going to need eight of these things right here. Like I said, this is for future proofing. We don't actually need all of those quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this blueprint right here, which you can actually get by pressing B and then dragging this thing into your hotbar. I'm going to get this right here. I'm going to copy everything right here to kind of make this into a blueprint so let's copy this we're going to we're not going to name it we're just going to click that right there and then we can move it over like this so that we can kind of plan for the future of where we want it so i'll put one right here i'll put one right here i'll put one right here okay that's four so that's going to be one full bus belt here and then we're probably going to need four more so we can go for the next belt or the next bus over. So let's say another one right here. And if you hold shift and click, it'll actually tell you which trees need to be deleted with X's over there. All right, we'll do another one. Uh, where was it? Right here, I think it was. And then two more. So one right here and one right here. And that right there is going to be our full smelting area for iron. So all of our smelting can be done in this one area. It's gigantic, I know. But pretty much the idea is that at first we'll just connect iron up just like we're doing over here. Let me go on our map so we can zoom in and see what, what I'm talking about. So at first we're going to connect iron like this. But eventually what we'd have is some sort of like train station over here where all these iron deposits on the outsides, like these ones over here, we could train them in on a, using train tracks. And then we can unload them and distribute them to these, uh, these smelteries. And then it'll go onto the bus like it currently is. Uh, right now and everything will be pretty awesome. So that's gonna work pretty awesomely, I think. Um, but like I said, this is the only one we're gonna need for this moment right now. Uh, so let's just, that, that that's gonna be fine. What we do need though is we do wanna probably connect some copper. Uh, and where are we gonna have our copper smelting? I haven't actually thought about where we wanna have our copper smelting. We could throw it right here, but I mean, we have, this is our copper bus right here. We have four full lines of of copper that we want. So we're going to need four of these kind of things just for copper. So where are we going to put that? Ooh, we could. Uh, we could put, throw it up here. Or we could put it like maybe down here, like on the other side of this, and then it would just come through uh, these lines. That look kind of weird, but I think it might actually work. So that might be what we're going to do. Let me think for a second. What could we, what else? I mean, what else could we do? What are the alternatives? If we don't put it right here, we do have a little bit of space, so all this space right here is used up. Uh, we could put it down here, I suppose, and then just bring it up like that. That might work better. We don't have to worry about this thing right here, though, as well. Um, do we want to put it down here? Yeah, we could. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So then, uh, in the future, we would have a train station over here that would bring copper to these smelters. And then we have a train station over here which would bring iron to these smelters over here. And I think that would work pretty well. So let's go down to our uh, our area which we've now designated for copper. Our area that we've decided. And we will see that it has a lot of trees. So let me make a little pit stop real quick while we're on our way. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grabbing just a little bit of grenades. So I can throw them at trees. We already have 100 grenades, but I think a, little, a couple more would be useful. All right, and do we have belts? Uh, let's grab some belts as well. And yeah, we just need belts. Um, how many do we are here? Oh, yeah, we'll take all of them. And how many miners do we have? Nine miners. Uh, we could probably use a couple more of those in the future. So let's just grab a few more. All right, are you ready for the grenading of awesomeness? Where do we decide it's going to be? Right, just in this general area here. Okay, yeah, so these are all the trees I'm going to have to grenade. Boom, boom. Nope, hang on. Boom, 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 boom. Destroy all the trees. With grenades. Uh, just toss one back for those stragglers over there. 
Put down in the comments if you want me to actually show this kind of thing where I'm just destroying trees or if you want me to cut this stuff out. Because I'm happy to show it. Everyone loves seeing trees get destroyed. But I'm also happy to go into editing and just uh, just cut this part out if you guys don't like to watch poor nature get destroyed by me. And maybe eventually I will start cutting it out anyway, whether you ask or not. <laughs> because sometimes when you have to clear huge areas of trees, it can be uh, a little bit tedious to watch and to do. But I hope, hope we won't have to do that for very many uh, rainforests. I just want to get a little bit more over here done. And actually, let's see where, where do we have to connect to. Right here is where we're going to be connecting our copper. So, yeah, that might be enough space there, honestly. We're going to use the same exact like blueprint that we were using before and we're, we need four of these so we'll throw one right how far can we go to the side we'll throw one right here we'll put one right I can't really see uh, I think right here will be fine we'll put one right here and one more right here perfect that's exactly enough room we could have actually moved it over a little bit but that's gonna be perfectly fine all right, so let's grab our grenades real quick. Oop, go back up there. Grab our grenades, and we're going to destroy these trees here that that are asking to be destroyed. And I don't know if that's going to... Yeah, that's going to screw up our blueprint a little bit. Um, so there's one thing we can do. We can actually just replace that blueprint so that it puts everything that we want. So let's grab our blueprint and just click it right over the old one. Oh, no, it's actually not missing anything. I thought there was supposed to be stuff here, but nope. It's the same everywhere. All right, so that's perfectly as or that's as much room as we need. Let's start building one of these things. And just like with the iron, we only need one right now because we're not actually uh, using much. And as we build our factory, we can eventually fill in these ones and connect them up. And same with the iron ones over here. Um, and it, and everything will be good. All right, so let's start with these. Put this one there. Put that one there. Sweet. Let's go with the underground belts. One right there, and. Where else do we have an underground belt? Oh, we had one right here, didn't we? I think that's how it was set up. We might have to actually... Yeah, we might have to actually mess with this design a little bit uh, when, we, when we come to actually fill in the rest of them because I think we might have some problems when it comes to uh, connecting these here. But I don't know. We'll figure that out when we have to come to that. Okay, so let's turn this here. Go into there. And then you turn this way. And you guys are going here for the belt of copper. Narrow. Actually, no, this is the split belt of copper and coal, if I recall correctly. We don't need that one at the end. All right. So that's one belt. Then we need another one over here. So go forward just a wee bit. And turn onto this right here. And then this is going to be another split belt of copper and coal. Uh, we don't need that last one. And I think we have a little bit more we have to do over here. Yeah, bring this one all the way. Boom. Okay, and then let's get our last bit of belt that we need. And this is going to be our output belt. Uh, I think they came out with an update, by the way, so that you don't need these things anymore. And what I was saying before, I, I know I mentioned it last episode, but I don't know if it was very clear. Uh, the reason that I had something like this is because if you wanted a fully saturated belt, like for instance, this is fully saturated right here. Uh, if you wanted a fully saturated belt, you had to do something like that, which I'll show you over here. Something like this right here. You had to have these inserting onto these underground belts instead of having them insert directly onto the belt because there were small gaps that these couldn't actually insert into and those gaps would carry on throughout the belt. But if you did it like this, and you inserted them into the underground belt block, uh, there was magic involved where <laughs> where they would be able to actually fill in those small gaps. So you'd have a fully saturated belt like this instead of one that has small little gaps in there. So and throughout the throughout the build, I suppose you'll see those small gaps in certain places if you're actually looking out for them. All right, so we almost have this first one completely set up, but. Uh, 
But yeah, like I was saying, they did come out with a patch, I think. I mean, I, I know I read about it. They came out with some sort of patch, but I haven't actually tested it. Uh, that, that should eliminate that problem um, that these have with, uh, with, with filling in small gaps. So that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's fill this in real quick. I don't think I have quite enough of these things. So let's build a couple more of those. Luckily, those are very easy to build. Are we going to need more stone? I think we might. Actually, we have exactly as many as we need. Awesome. I love when that happens. All right. Finally, let's. we have all these inserters. So let's throw them in like this. All right. This might be a little bit tedious, but it's okay. Just have to... Just have to go fast. Look at this speed run. Going fast. And then after this, we'll have to do the electricity as well because we want that to be a thing. Look at this. They should call me the next speedrunner. Have you guys ever thought about speedrunning a game that you like to play a lot? Like, I used to play a lot of Skyrim, and I thought, you know what? I'll speedrun this. Complete the game in like 10 hours. Woo! Speedrun. Nope. I actually saw real speedrunners. They do it like in an hour or something. Oops, this is the wrong way. Yeah, they, they play Skyrim in like an hour. There are speedrunners in this game that beat this, beat Factorio in, I don't know what the record is, but I think it's somewhere along the line of like, I thought it was like 40 minutes or it might be like an hour or something, but it's crazy to watch because they just, they just go crazy. They build these things in like a few seconds. There's like, blah, 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 blah. it's awesome. So cool to watch. If you guys have the time, go and watch that. If you have if you have time. It takes a lot of time sometimes to watch those. Speedruns. I watched I used to watch I played all the Half-Life games. So fun by the way. If you've never played them, I highly recommend them. Um I watched speedrunners play it. Jesus, those guys are crazy. They learn all the smallest exploits that you would never even think of. Like, oh, and here's how you get out of the map, and then once you're out of the map, you can just go and like freaking teleport to the next five levels or something. Portal's a really fun one to watch speedruns for. Because they like tell, or they, they, what do they do? They, they like levitate on objects at the start or something to get out of the room while the lady's talking. And I think it's so funny. All right, let's connect this up. So we're going to need to, we, yeah, we already have a little connection here. So we'll just throw it right there. You guys are all connected. Sweet. Now all we need to do is we need to connect some, uh, some copper and we also need to connect some coal. So let's start with coal since we do already have kind of a setup for coal over here. Uh, and while we could take some coal from that, we don't really want to. We don't want to snag any of that coal. This coal should be sufficient for at least a couple of lines of this. So currently we're only using the, that coal for these, uh, this one line right here, but it should be sufficient for even like a second or third one. So. What I'm going to say is we're going to want, probably that's going for, I don't know, probably one like that uh, going towards the iron again. And then I'd say two going for the copper. So let's just use that same setup like that. Just so we know where we're kind of putting things. Do we actually have enough space for all that? I don't even think we do. Oh, well, we'll not worry about the other stuff. We'll just worry about the copper one that we're trying to set up. Uh, okay, so let's do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We barely fit that one in. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't fit that there. Eight. Oh, that's tough. Eight. Put it right there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eh, we can throw it right there. Twelve. All right. Now let's connect this up. Skirt. And I did mention in one of the past episodes that twelve is the optimal number of uh, of machines to work on one side of a standard belt. All right, so we'll connect this one all the way up to here. 
And then we'll just bring it over. All right, now let's make sure that they are connected for power. So we'll just run a run a line along this. Um, put one right here, I guess. And we'll put one right here. Then we can throw one right there to connect the sides. And that should be good. All right, now that we have all our machines running, you guys are not powered. What's going on? Now that we have all our machines running, we need to go and connect the belt up to our uh, our setup. So let's go and do that. And this is why we needed so many belts for this whole thing. Because it does take quite a bit. I wonder, we might run out of belts. I hope not, but it's possible. Okay, where do we have to go? Right here? How many belts do we have still? Uh, there we go. We have another 76 after this. Oof, we're probably going to run out. Um, let's run it down this way. Yeah, we're totally going to need more belts because I didn't even think we're, we're going to need some for, uh, for the copper. Run it right there. Is that the correct place? Um, yes, that is. All right, now let's go and get the copper. Actually, you were supposed to be right here, weren't you? Yes. All right, let's go and get the copper. We're completely out of belts other than these 81, and that is not enough. So let's, while we're going back to get the copper, we'll also go and uh, and hit up that belt machine that we have set up. So that's just going to be at our starter base up here. And you see, you see now why this having a starter base kind of thing is really good. First of all, because you've got all this science that you can do without having to actually... Uh, manually make these science packs here but also because you have these belts set up like you don't have to actually manually make belts you have them all right here if you need to go get them and also this things right here uh, but it becomes really really helpful like we need copper right now okay let's just go get some from these machines and we need some here iron let's get them from that machines see it just becomes super helpful for actually making these huge builds that we're doing right now and these huge huge builds by the way might seem a little bit uh, a little bit tedious to actually set up and it might seem like there's way too many of these to actually even uh way too many that you would actually need for a base but in actuality you do need this many for like a a, a, a future base like um like we're, we're kind of still really early game here but once you start getting mid game and uh and even late game you'll definitely see that uh, that you do need a lot of smelters. You do need a lot of materials to get things going. Why are you not doing stuff? That's why. Placed you the wrong way. Still placed you the wrong way. All right. There you go. There we go. Sweet. All right. So now we have a bunch of belts. Let's go and set up our iron or our uh, copper. So I think what we're gonna do is something like this. Boom, go underground here. And this is gonna look a little weird, but that's fine. And that'll be our copper. All the way up to the top. And can we go under all this? Yeah, we can. Uh, we do need a couple more underground belts. You know what, the next thing we're gonna do after we set up this stuff is we're gonna set up an automation for the uh, belts. And we might not get to that this episode because, I don't know, setting up these things does take a little bit of time. But we'll definitely get to that next episode if we don't do circuits next episode, which we might do. Because automating these little things is very, very helpful. So let's get some undergrounds. And these will be very easy to make because we already have all of the uh, electronic circuits that we're going to need for them. Or no, we already have the belts that we need for them. These are the ones that require electronic circuits. So we'll make a couple of those as well. All right, so we're going to have an underground belt. Uh, and I think this will probably work fine. Yep. Can you go through there? Yes, you can. Sweet. And we'll just, uh, we'll start on the left side. How about that? We need a lot of miners, actually. We don't have those. Let's just grab a couple. Now, you see, the miners are going to require to make iron gear wheels before uh, going ahead. Do we have iron gear wheels already made, actually? I wonder. We might. I don't remember if we set those up. Mm, no, we're not actually grabbing any. We could. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Let's, uh... Do we have any chests in here? 
No, we don't, do we? All right, let's stop everything. Stop, halt production. Make a little chest for us. And let's put that chest right here. And this is just gonna give us a little bit of excess iron gear wheels. Throw that right there. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna get that many. Because we don't want to start taking too many of those. And let's make this fast, actually. We don't want to get it to get too many because if it takes too many of them, it's going to start hindering the uh, production of these. So I think for now, though, that'll be fine. Let's grab what's already in there. And then we'll make our... Oh, no, don't make steam engines. I don't need steam engines. I need these things. Yes. All right. Yummy. Let's grab all those. Grab all these. Just gonna set it to remake those. Make a couple more. That should be enough. Alrighty. So let's set this baby up. So we're gonna have we're gonna want to have twelve on one side and twelve on the other side, just like we've been doing uh, pretty much everywhere. So we'll have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof, this is tough. Eleven, twelve. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. 9, 10, 11, 12. Awesome. All right, let's hook these things up. Boom, boom, and bazoom. Oh, I don't think I can get there. No. All right, let's get in there. And this is going to be good. Copper, by the way, you might ask why we only have four. Uh, copper lines on our bus instead of eight like we do for the iron and it's because copper is not as useful It becomes more useful in the uh, in late, later game, but for now copper is not terribly useful You don't really need it for very many things uh, But one one big thing you do need it for is of course the electronic circuits uh, Which we'll probably set up next episode or the one after that But, uh, but yeah, for now, they're not terribly important. All right, and then we have to somehow get over there. Sometimes it's a pain that you have to actually walk around all these miners. Like, you, you can't just walk through them, like step over these gaps. Although I guess if you could step inside them, you could get hit by these minor things. It could cause injury, and there'd be a whole lawsuit or something. I don't know. You guys are all running? Sweet. Okay, we should have a saturated belt of uh, of this unmined iron. Okay, you see how there's a little gap right there? That's that gap I was talking about earlier. And there's one right there as well. These are those gaps that I was talking about earlier. And they were the reasons that you had that uh, underground belts right there. Is to prevent those little, small little gaps. So, in case you were wondering, that's what that's why. That's why that was there. This should be a fully set up belt here. Yeah, we have some starting to make already. Yep, yeah, this should be good. And hopefully we'll see that it's fully saturated. If not, we'll have to come back and fix some stuff. But I think it should be perfectly fine. And we want to connect that to this right here, copper. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run it along the side like this. And then we're going to bring it up and it'll connect there. Um, or we can bring it across and then side. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Here's what we'll do. Uh, you will take, we'll do like this, four. All right. Bring this one all the way up top. And then finally we'll have this one. I think it's right here. I really hope it is. Oh. Sometimes if you step on these belts, it moves you just a slight, a slight amount, and it messes up your line. 
All right, that's how we're gonna have that set up. And we need to, sorry, we need to break this tree. Have the hiccups. I need to drink water upside down. Does that actually work? Is that a, is that a proven way to prevent the hiccups, to drink water upside down? I never actually knew. People always say you gotta get scared. How, how do you get scared if you know it's coming, you know? All right, so we're gonna bring this one all the way down. We're not gonna worry about the other three just yet. We'll worry about those once we have the, uh, once we actually have need for them. But for now, we're fine. All right, and then, yep. And let's grab some underground belts here. Awesome, that should be set up. Perfectly, uh, perfectly aligned with our new copper belt. And that should be everything working like planned. Let's extend our copper belt just a little bit. So now that we, so now we can, uh, we can tell that it's kind of done a little bit. It's definitely not done, but it's started. It's a start. Just like this iron is a start. This copper that we're going to be seeing in a few seconds right here is a start. And you can see it's also fully saturated, which is good. You see none of those little gaps. I don't see any. Um, yeah. I, oh, well, there's some right here. Some little tiny gaps. So, I mean, I did see in the patch notes that they did uh, they did fix that issue, but maybe they haven't. I don't know. Let's see if we can fix it by putting in those underground belts. Actually, no, we're, we're getting those gaps because we're not getting enough iron. Why are we not getting enough iron? That is the question. I don't know. I mean, it's almost going all the way down the line. It's going to there. So, yeah, okay. Well, once we get red belts, we'll fix that problem because red belts will allow more iron, uh, more throughput. But I don't really know. I mean, maybe we'll wait for this to be fully in production and stuff to be, uh, to be working, but I don't know. We might have to tweak this just a little bit, probably next episode. Uh, do I want to do anything else this episode? I don't know, because we're kind of running a little bit low on time because I do want to kind of keep these to 30 minutes. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to call it an episode. And then what we're going to do next episode is we're going to be working on, uh, maybe we'll do circuits and also, uh, circuits is going to take a full episode. Maybe we'll do, um, what, what was I say? Belts and underground belts and splitters automation so that we don't have to actually keep going back here. Instead, we can go to one place and get all three of these things instead of just, uh, just belts. So yeah, that you have that to look forward to. But anyways, if you like the episode, hit that like button, put your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.